better than adverbs. Everyone say verbs. Yeah. And what's the best verb today? Pursue. Pursue, yes. But actually, I like troll. Troll is a pretty good verb, right? <laughs> because here's what I want to talk about. Like, very often we won't use a verb, we will use a noun. Now, troll can be a noun. It could be like an ugly man, ugly big monster, like, like Shrek. Shrek was a troll, right? No, whatever, but the, but the thing living under the bridge to scare all the little children. That's a troll, that's a noun. But here, Eric used the word troll. It's the verb form of it, right? And verbs are more powerful than nouns. So for example, in one of the speeches, I think it was the first speech, he said, I came to the realization that. But the next speaker said, I realized. So I came to the realization, the realization, realization is a noun, but I realized, wow, what an active verb. Gotta use yeah. active verb, forget about the nouns. For example, Darren said, Paul is the founder of Born to Shine. So boring. <laughs> Paul founded Born to Shine. Wow, baby, I feel energy, right? So lose the nouns, put in the verbs, but the irony is the word verb is a noun. <laughs> but never mind, never mind. Right. Over your heads. Okay, so, so use active verbs instead of nouns. Wherever you can, we use a noun, in, a, a verb instead of a noun, use the verb. The second thing is, you've got to energize your verbs. Remember, verbs are like words of motion, right? We're moving, right? So, for example, I think it was Hugh was talking about, I read lots of books. You could energize the verb, say, I read book after book after book after book after book, right? You're energizing that verb, right? And I think it was, uh, I think it was Chloe who was talking about the ex my anxiety got more or my anxiety grew, but you could say my anxiety grew and grew and grew and grew, right? That's what Lila was saying to you, to add energy to these things, right? Energize your verbs. Don't like to have boring verbs. The second thing is use strong verbs. Don't come up here and use words like like. Like is boring, right? Like, like you gotta like something, you gotta, you gotta love something, you gotta chase something, you gotta pursue. Yes. Good, good job, good job. Bless you, right? So you don't wanna like, just like follow a passion, but you chase a passion, you live for your passion, right? Use powerful verbs. Don't use weak ass verbs like like. You know, we. Oh, sorry, Eric. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ten push ups later, yeah? Yeah, but use strong verbs, right? Because it adds flavor to your English, right? And here's something which I really want to talk about. Be sure of yourselves. Be sure of yourselves. Don't use words like, well, I think you, if you want to improve your speech, because that's what Lila said to Chloe, like, if you would like to improve, just say, to improve. You know, use that character to improve. Do this. Be sure of yourself. They're like, well, maybe if you do that, I want you to evaluate it. Be strong. Be confident, right? <laughs> How would you define passion? Diana, no. Diana, define passion. Like that. Done. In your face. Now you've got to do something, right? Would you please uh, tell me uh, what you think? No, define passion. Done. You don't have to waste a lot of words. Let's right? get into it, right? Define passion. So strong verbs, right? Um, yeah, well, I've read something, I can't read it. Okay, never mind, we'll have the pages to go, I'll have the pages to go, all right. Active verbs, right? Like, I think uh, I was, Chloe was talking about, I enjoy relaxing. You know, in my free time, I enjoy relaxing in the hot spring. You know, why put the enjoy? Relax is a verb, right? So when I, in my free time, I relax in hot springs. I read books. I travel the world. Instead of using enjoy, you lose the verb, use more active verbs, it makes it far more interesting. How about your Ethan John? We have been kind here, dear Angla Bar. Do it. Push a mascot. Do you say England? Do it. 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 Do Chinese人的演讲,你要用中文的字,不用用英文的字 
，在台湾说老婆、老公比较贴心的，对不对？对啊，所以外国人说太太，但是太太的不好的意思是 too much, too much, generally very little.